Hey, YouTube family and friends, this is Bear Brown. Thanks for coming to my garden channel today where I'm here helping you grow something tasty. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make liquid organic fertilizer. That's right. This fertilizer is going to blow your mind. I mean, it is insane. And what you're going to need, you're going to need your garden weeds and you're going to need some beer. That's right. You're going to need some beer. So if you have some old hot beer, might as well go ahead and put it to good use so that we can get these plants growing insane. All right, now I did a video uh, last year about using your garden weed, but I did not talk about the beer because I didn't know anything about it. I went to a uh, local nursery, a family owned nursery, Sal's. She has been using this for a long time. It's organic and it is a game changer. Now, when I stopped by, I saw that she had some huge plants. I saw the big, big, huge tomato plant. It is insane. The tomato plant, I don't know how big, how wide it is. She even has beans growing off, off of it. So it is, I know it works. She also had some cucumber plants. The cucumber plants are growing insane. And so I decided, hey, I wanna try this on a few plants. And I didn't get the footage of the squash plants that she had but she had an insane squash plant about that big probably even taller than that when i stand up but before we start this uh actual liquid fertilizer let me show you my squash plant all right look at the size of my squash plant i have been putting the beer fertilizer on this plant i always just try it try things new on just a few plants but let me take a step back look at the size this is a young uh, squash plant and i have been feeding it the beer fertilizer and it is growing massive i need to move it before it gets too big where it starts to uh, actually set on the uh, squash but this right here is a game changer look at the size of that i mean look at the leaves nice and healthy and yes, that's what I'm using. So let's go ahead and get into showing you how to uh, make this fertilizer. It's gonna blow your mind. Look at that. All right, so you seen the evidence. I had to show, you, show it to you up front because I didn't want you to think, hey, Bear is gonna lost his mind. All right, so let's go right into it. Now, you can just grab the uh, your weeds from your garden or wherever your yard and throw it in there. But what I like to do I said this in the video last year when I was using the garden weed. I like to cut mine, make a couple cuts, because I'm, I'm thinking the more cuts I make, it's already exposed and all the juice that's in here is dripping out. I've already pre-cut some of it, and you don't have to cut it, you can just put it in there, but that's just how I'm thinking. All the uh, cuts, I can get all those nutrients out, the nitrogen, the phosphorus, the phosphorus, and potassium. I'm messing up. All right, so I made my uh, cuts. Now, what you need to do if you don't have access to rainwater, you go ahead and get your uh, water out your uh, spricket, fill it up, and I'm using the five gallon uh, bucket because I want a lot of this. So you will let that stand out. I like to stand it out for 20, a whole day, 24 hours. At least 12, but I would just go for 24 hours. But I'm gonna go ahead and take you over to my rainwater uh, system so we can fill this up and finish the rest. Let me grab this beer. Let's go. All right, we at my rainwater system. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this on, try to fill this all the way up to the brim, and then we'll keep on going to the next thing. Uh, I love having this uh, rainwater system because after it rains, your plants are gonna love it, but I got access to all this rainwater. At the uh, end of uh, this video, I'll put up my rainwater system video, just in case you might think about uh, doing this for yourself. Well, this is all good rainwater. I went ahead, just to top it off, had it ready. Now, so I'm not gonna use the whole beer can. Now, so what I did inside, I used uh, our cup measure, and this is one cup. So I put water in it and filled it all the way up so I know what the uh, cup looks like when I pour it in here. So I know just about where to uh, fill it up. You don't have to be exact. 
but I just only want to make sure that I don't put too much in because I want to save all the beer for my next uh, ba batch of uh, liquid organic fertilizer. So it's been kind of hot, so hopefully it doesn't fizzle all over the place. I don't want to smell like beer. All right, so let's go ahead and get my uh, measuring cup. Look at that nice beer. It's going to help us. Now, if you a beer drinker, I don't even like the smell of it, but uh, just take it for the uh, team because this is going to help your garden. You already saw some of the, uh, the actual footage of what the plants look like. I'm just trying to top it off before I drop it in. That's about it. And all you're going to do is pour. I'm going to give it just a little teeny bit more. Pour the beer in. And you're going to have to let this sit for three days. I, I will get a, a stick and I stir it around a little bit so it gets all the way dispersed through the whole uh, bucket. Now, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and give you the warning first. It is going to stink. You need it to sit for three days and it's probably going to turn brown, brown, a brownish color. And then all you're going to do is dip it out. But after the uh, three days, you're probably even going to have a lot of flies over here as well. So you may want to put it someplace where it's not going right beside your house, like opening the door, because you don't want all them flies going in your house. All right, so let this sit for three days, and then we're going to come back, and I'm going to show you how to apply it. And I'm going to go ahead and go into how often you want to do this to get those big, gigantic results. So I'll see you in three days. This stuff is a game changer. All right, let's go. All right, it's day number three. Our fertilizer with the beer is all ready. Oh, it smells terrible. And don't worry, I'm not gonna do what I did when I made the uh, fish fertilizer video. You know, the thumbnail when I had just nothing but the fish up there. I did something crazy and I'm still getting a lot of subscribers still talking about it, but I won't do it this time. If you uh, didn't get to see that, I'll put a link at the end of the uh, video for that uh, actual video. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and dip in and get our fertilizer, but I'm gonna bring you in close first so you'll see what it looks like, the uh, coloration, but it is pretty stank. All right, now that's what it looks like. You see all of the, uh, the color has changed. So we're getting all those good nutrients from those weeds out using the uh, yeast in the uh, beer. So, and you see all the flies coming around too. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoop some up. I'm gonna go ahead and water our plant and I'll tell you how many times you should do this a week. And just remember, if you wanna put this in your irrigation system, chances are you need to take a cheesecloth. That's what I'm gonna do a little later after this video and strain it in one of those buckets over there. And then I'm gonna put it in my watering system to start watering my uh, plants. All right, so let's go. And if you kind of worried and nervous about using the uh, beer in this uh, setup, you can just take one plant. That's what I did at, to start. And then I noticed the benefits is growing large and large. Then I started doing it with other uh, plants. So I'm just gonna make sure I don't get it on the leaves. I'm gonna water it in at the uh, base, just like that. And all you're gonna do is water the uh, plant just as you normally would when you're feeding it uh, your fertilizer. So don't overdo it, just do as you have been doing, but just add it with the uh, this uh, in these ingredients. All right, so you wanna do this twice a week. That's what Sal says, and you saw the clips from the uh, video earlier, you see how insane her plants have uh, grown. So I'm gonna use this every time I um, can learn something new, I'm gonna share it with you. But this right here totally works. Now, if you have not seen the video on how to fight the cucumber beetle, you need to check that video out. I will put that in the link up here so that you can uh, stop those uh, pests by looking at some of the uh, things that you have in your garden because it is truly working. All right, so I'll see you in a couple seconds. Bye. 